All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's not waste your time and get right into it. I know the exact reason why you are here. Most likely you have been hearing about Elden Ring mods and how cool they are and you've been wanting to give them a shot. Or if you're anything like me, you're probably halfway through a playthrough and you're enjoying it. And then you booted up your PC either last night or this morning just to find out that there was a small update for Elden Ring. Now, normally when there's a game update, it's, you know, good news because it means we get, you know, bug fixes and a couple of other things. But as you can see by looking at the patch notes, all they really did was update the anti-cheat. And that's kind of no big deal. Now, normally when it's something this small, it doesn't really affect mods. But lo and behold, a lot of people that have been playing on the Convergence like me are running into a big headache to where they can no longer boot up the mod and a lot of things don't work. So here we are with this video, we're going to be downgrading back to version 1.10 in order to get things back up and running. Now, the Convergence team is already aware of this issue and they're probably already working on a fix. So there is a good chance that while I'm recording this video or while you're watching the video, this may not be necessary. They do have a temporary fix right now that does involve just deleting the alternate saves and starting a new character, but if you're in my position, you don't want to start a new character, so there's that. Now, this is mainly for, you know, future proofing because there may be an instance to where, you know, they do a similar patch like this again, so hopefully this video will also help, you know, with those instances as well. However, I'm pretty confident that the Convergence will be putting out a update pretty soon, but for me personally, I'm also running a small handful of other mods as well and those creators aren't necessarily too quick to update their mods so instead of me being patient and waiting for that to come around we're just going to be a little bit impatient and just roll the game back because we're not really missing out on too much by going back to previous versions now for me this was a long tedious process but for you i'm going to make it very you know straightforward and simple the first thing we want to do, we want to hit Windows and R, that way we can bring up our run box or run command. And in that, we want to type in Steam Open Console, exactly the way you see it here. And once we open this and hit OK, as you can see, it will launch Steam and we will have this console with this large blank window up here. What this will allow us to do, it will allow us to download old versions of the game called Depots. Now, the way you find these, are pretty simple you know you can just go to the steam db website and you can copy and paste all of these depot ids you can go here to the manifest and get the manifest id from here also you want to get the game id as well but i'm just going to make it plain and simple for you guys i already have the download ids that i will put right up here on the video and i will also leave them down below in the description so what you want to do first, we have two. The first depot ID is going to download all of the game data, such as, you know, everything that requires the game to run. And then the second depot ID is going to be the EXC that requires the game to launch. Now, a lot of people make the small mistake of just doing one of these and they figure out that that's not good enough to make the game work. So make sure that you do both. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the first download depot and I'm going to paste it here. Make sure you have it the exact way it is. Now, once you hit enter, you should see some text pop up here saying that the download has begun. I'm not going to hit enter because I already have it here and I want to save space because this is essentially downloading the game again. The game is about 40 to 50 gigabytes, so make sure you have the space because you're going to basically be duplicating the game. And to my knowledge, it does install on the same hard drive that you have Steam installed to. I believe there's a way to change this. I think I did it when I had to download an old version of Cyberpunk, but I can't recall how. But I will leave a link down below if I do figure out a way to change that. And I also will leave links down below that go more further into detail on how to get these depot IDs. But once you hit enter, it will say that the you know download process has begun. The main downfall of this is that you don't get any progress meters. So you don't know if the download is on 5%, 50%, or 90%. You just got to be patient and let it run. So it takes about the same time Elden Ring would normally download for you. If it takes an hour to download, then this will most likely take an hour as well. So for this one, it's going to take a while because this is all the all the data. But for the other one that we have, when we post this one, this one should be pretty quick because this is just the EXE. It's just one little small file and it shouldn't be too much. And then once you download them and get them out the way, Steam will let you know where the location of the download went to so you don't have to worry about scrounging your whole entire PC to figure out where it is. It will tell you exactly where it is. So we're going to go ahead and open up those locations to see if we can find them. 
Okay, so once those depots are done downloading, you should have two files. The main big heavy bulk of it will be this one here. This will have all of your data files. You see this one is nine gigabytes. This one is 20 gigabytes and this one is two. This is essentially where all the game data is stored. However, this is not all you need because here over to the left, we have the exe file as well. What I like to do, I just drag this over here and drop it there. That way I have everything in one. You don't have to worry about this one here because that's already there. And what you want to do, if you have already updated the game itself, you just want to go to your library, click uh, manage, and then browse local files so you can see where the game is installed. We're going to bring that up. And here is essentially version 1.10.1. 1. 1. This is the version that you don't want. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead. We're going to highlight all of these files we're going to drag them over and simply drop them now i've already done this process so i don't need to do it but for you it'll obviously prompt you to overwrite you want to click yes let it go through it's going to overwrite everything and if you are lucky this should be all you need to do and once you boot up elden ring obviously not through the exe you want to go through convergence if you're using convergence this should also work with any other mod engine and then once you do the launch mod elden ring bet you should get the prompt if you're running it as administrator which you should do in order to avoid most you know conflicts and if you are lucky the game should boot up and everything should be up and running so as you can see here we are loaded into the game and just to clarify that things work we'll hit continue to see if our character actually loads in with no problems so as you can see here we are we have two of the new brand new weapons from convergence i have my modded armor set First person souls is obviously working along with a few other tweaks. So we are back on the old version. Everything is working. So it is a little bit of a long process. It does take a while for the actual depots to download. So just be patient. And then once it gets done, you just go ahead and drag over those files and everything should work. Yeah, if you look in the bottom right corner, it still says 1.10. So everything should be good. Very short and sweet video. Didn't want to make this too long. Just wanted to get right to the point. If I missed any steps, I will try to go over them in the comments down below. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I will try my best to elaborate them. But if you need any help, especially with the convergence, always feel free to head over to their Discord. They are very helpful and, you know, they do good at communication over there. So with that being said, I hope you guys found this helpful and useful. And until the next time, you guys know the drill. We are outro. You view me.